This week on 60 Minutes, student expectations and how to be successful during block lunch. As most of y'all know, outside the principal's office is our block leader. This is our way of knowing how well we are behaving and making use of our time during block lunch. Just like a stoplight, the block meter is divided into three colors, green, yellow, and red. Green means that everyone is behaving and following all guidelines for block lunch. Yellow means that there is a risk of block lunch being taken away, but it's not too late to fix your behavior and redeem yourself. Lastly, red means that we will most likely lose block lunch if we don't change our behavior that day. And now I'm here with Mr. Jones to give you some in inside information on what the best tips and tricks are for keeping block lunch. Hey, chef and students. If somebody were to ask me what my advice would be to be successful in block lunch, I would honestly tell them whatever fits that kid. Um, whether it's hanging out with friends in the hallway, playing basketball in the gym, using tutorials, whatever you see in your schedule. And I would advise those students to, to map out the five days, right? Like maybe Monday, go play basketball. Tuesday, I go see my biology teacher. Wednesday, I hang with my friends. Thursday, I work in the library, and Friday, basketball. I would have them create a schedule where they're using their time, but they're still also having fun, because that's ultimately what Block Lunch is about. But at the same time, we want it to be safe, we want it to be orderly, and that's the only way that Block Lunch is going to work. Now I'm here with two sophomores to tell you their advice on how to keep Block Lunch and stay successful. Have fun. You know, go to tutorials and pick up trash and, you know, just being responsible. This is one of our designated Block Lunch areas. Since it's right next to the library, this is supposed to be a quieter area for getting your homework done. You can eat anywhere in this area, but please make sure to keep your legs in. <laughs> now I'm here with our principal, Mr. Banner. Mr. Banner, what is the most important thing for students to keep in mind this year to make sure that block lunch is the most successful that it can be? The most important thing is safety. Safety is our number one. So if we are compromising safety, whether that's behavior or the environment, anything that is not safe, then we will not have block lunch, period. So with that, you know, if there are altercations or disruptions with, with students or with, with any situation, what we don't want students to do are respond, run to the event, pull out your phone and fill, film the event, etc. What we do want students to do is to inform adults before the event happens. So tell somebody, see something, say something. And then if something is going on, they come and tell an adult. That way we can intervene um, appropriately. Stop! Moving the furniture is not allowed. Do not run in the hallways or throw things. We could get block lunch taken away for this. What is the number one thing that gets block lunch taken away for all students? Well, I mean, that's a good question. There's four things. Um, to me, the number two, the top two, because it's hard to pick just one, I would say probably trash in the building. And I tell that to all the kids. We have to keep the, the school clean, right? Just pick up after yourselves. The second thing would probably be what we call like recess or playground behavior. Um, we're high school guys. We can't, we can't have that. We can't have people running in the hallway. We can't have people play fighting, any of that. Because to me, those are the top two things that we're going to take block lunch away. Remember to always be respectful to all staff and students. Thank you very much for all your hard work. And what are some tips and advice that you have for students to make sure that block lunch can also be as successful as it can be? That's a great question. So the main tip I have is just ownership. This is yours. You need to earn it. You deserve it. But with that comes some responsibility and some respect. And so it's all up to you. Uh, we will do our best to isolate any misbehavior to individual students or to, to small groups. But if we have to pull it for the sake of safety, then we will pull block lunch. Um, the other thing is just respect, and, and just respect the building, respect yourself, respect your business, take care of your business, and, and take care of each other. If we're taking care of each other, and that involves picking up trash, um, holding each other accountable, then it's gonna be a, a positive su you know, success, and you, would, you deserve it, and that's the bottom line, is you earn it, you deserve it, and, and we're giving you this ownership, so take advantage of it. Make sure that you throw away all of your trash at the end of lunch, whether in the cafeteria or around school, because a dirty campus is one more thing that could lead to us losing block lunch. This is what happens.
happens when you don't throw your trash away. Never run towards fights.